Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com. Well, we're about a month or so from August, which for me in, as an IT professional, August tends to be my certification month. And so this video is going to be the official introduction to my RHCE or Red Hat Certified System or Red Hat Certified Engineer rather uh, project for preparing for that exam, which I will be taking in about a month or so in August. So this will be very similar to what I did with the RHCSA project in the fact that these videos are not intended to be authoritative information, though I am going to try to have the information as accurate as possible, but rather these videos are a chance for me to put myself on the spot and talk about an objective, see if I can explain it or teach it, and then also see if I can do actual examples that would mimic real world usage of Ansible and the other tasks that are part of RHCE. And the idea behind this for me is if I feel confident doing these videos, or rather at the end of the video, if I feel confident about the content that I produced, then I'm probably pretty well prepared for that objective for the actual exam. There will be a couple of differences between how I did the RHCSA videos and how I'm going to do the RHCE videos. First of all, um, the Exam objectives have not changed as, as far as I can tell with RHCE in, in a while. And so therefore, there won't be a case such as with RHCSA where the container objectives came out after I took the exam. So I had to go back and, or I didn't have to, but I wanted to go back and make videos about that. The other thing is, unlike RHCSA, I'm not going to release these videos immediately after making them. I'll, I'll release as, as many as I can, but I'm going to make sure I have them all made prior to taking the exam. So they are truly practice sessions. And then, you know, as I have time, I'll, I'll get them uh, released on YouTube and Odyssey and, and Rumble and, and the like. One other thing that is, um, I'm not sure if this will necessarily be different, but I do need some feedback from, from you, my audience. There are a lot of you out there that actually found the channel through the RHCSA videos. And even though, as I always say, they're not necessarily authoritative information, a lot of people found them useful for their own RHCSA preparation. And I hope the RHCE is the same way. So I have a, a question for all of you that have used the RHCSA videos and found them helpful. I have two kind of options with editing these. First of all, I don't want to do a lot of editing because I want to make it to be kind of like as live of a practice session as I can. One edit that I know I'm going to be doing on all the videos is editing the audio to where the levels will be higher because when I'm down at the keyboard, I'm not always, you know, on access with the microphone. So I have to do a little bit of editing there to make it to where you can actually hear me when I'm talking about the objectives and such. The other thing that I'm curious about is whether or not you want me to edit out um, silence for lack of a better phrase. For example, let's say I'm working on an objective and I get stuck on something. I've, I've forgotten the command and such. Do you want me to, um, to keep the footage in place of me, you know, kind of struggling with that and thinking out loud and, you know, digging through man pages and such, or would you rather, um, some of that be edited out to where the only thing that makes it to the final video are the actual working on the objectives themselves and doing, doing the, the various tasks and such with it. I can make an argument either way. On one hand, a practice session is kind of showing what you actually would do on the exam, such as if there, I get on the exam and there's something I forget, I'm going to struggle for a bit. I'm going to have to remember, I'm going to have to, you know, dig through man pages or dig through documentation that's available to me on the exam to figure it out. But on the other hand, you can look at this from the perspective of, all right, you're consuming these videos to, to see what I'm doing or uh, maybe to, to get some quick concepts and such. You don't necessarily want to have a two or three minute pause of me trying to figure something out on, on the fly. So I haven't decided how I'm going to do that. I might kind of balance it. You know, if there's something that just takes forever, I don't want you sitting for you know five minutes of a bunch of ums and let me try this kind of thing. But on the other hand, you know, there may be some situations where there's like a known gotcha for something and it would be helpful for you to see, you know, my method of going through the troubleshooting process. So feel free to, to leave comments, not necessarily feel free. I'm, I'm asking you to, to leave comments about which, you know, editing style you would like for these videos, whether or not you want to have all of the, you know, thinking through and um moments edited out or maybe a balance between the two or you literally want like the raw video of the entire practice session. And this is, this is everything that, that, that I went through, you know, mistakes and all as always, thanks for taking the, the time to watch. And I do hope these RHCE videos are helpful to anyone else that's uh, preparing for the exam. I want to thank returning subscribers for, for watching this video and any others. And I want to remind everyone,
one if you have not subscribed yet to click that subscribe button and ring the bell when you do so you can be aware of when new content comes available. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch and I'll see you the next time.